The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Radio Global, Who New Productions, JSA Media, and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. Your host, Joe Rocks. And the gang with uh, E's Good Night Hollywood. Um, just a brief note on Ia. Ia is in Texas filming, and so she will not be here tonight. Cool. But uh, we're going to re-air one of her older episodes. Okay. I talked to her today, yeah. and so um, welcome in everybody. But we do have a we do have a a very 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 special guest um, of mine tonight coming in, which none of us have ever met. Uh, and she's. This is the first time of her live on on Night Talk. Uh, it's Dina Catulli will be here tonight, and she is um, awesome. Uh, she does um, health and fitness segments for Night Talk with Joe Rocks on on the radio as well as um, on our social feed. So she'll be in here shortly. She'll be calling in, and uh, she's a hot ticket. We'll talk to her for a while and see what's up with her. Um, and um, what else? We, oh. Uh, Matt and Jimmy are here. Uh, Matt's producing me on um, Ustream for you people, uh, Ustreamers. Uh, are we, are, yeah, we are on Ustream, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I believe yes, we are. are. Yeah. And then um, Jimmy's producing us on um, TuneIn Satellite Radio. And so thank you, Jimmy, for that. Is, are, we, are you recording this, Jimmy? Yes, I am. Oh, awesome. Uh, so we were just talking about, what were we talking about a couple of minutes ago? Uh, oh, hold on one second. Um, and I'd like to welcome a new um, advertiser, which will be here in about shortly, uh, which will be next week. Uh, we're just putting it together. It's Beantown Barber. And Beantown Barber is no is right in Mike Allen's backyard, Austin, Texas. Okay? Wow. So they're a Night Talk sponsor, and um, that's that's pretty yeah. odd, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's where they are. And, uh uh, here we go, you know. But anyway, let's get, let's get, uh, welcome to them, and then so let's go with this. Oh, and uh, one 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 last thing: uh, Joyce's Hair Salon in Everett at one thirty two Ferry Street is sponsoring uh, Dina's segment tonight on Night Talk. Okay, now enough of that. Now go ahead. Oh no, we're talking about. Um... Gotta get a man himself over. The oh yeah. So anyway, <laughs> that's right. You know, we have some... The guy from Star Trek? Yeah, so, yeah, we was talking about that. The guy from Star Trek ran himself over with his own car. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't... I don't well, really... What do you do? Yeah, put the car in drive, run out and run No, out I don't know. He got, he got caught between uh, his his, uh, his mailbox and his, 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 I don't know, the, the wheel of the car or something like that. I really don't know. I don't know how you can get run over by your own car. I mean, it's kind of like... So I mean, unless he was high. He could have been high. Or he could have been like... Uh, he could have been thought he was in the... Um, you know, two to beam up. You know that's that thing. Oh, that, yeah. You know that uh, on Star Trek. You know, you put, what do you call that? What do you call that thing on Star Trek? Uh, that what do you beam, call? beam me up. Squad. Yeah, beam me up, Scott. We call that thing there. Jimmy, flip you know? phone. Huh? What? Flip phone. No, no, not a that's flip. That's what I phone. said. Football. No, no. They, they have a they have a thing, a round thing that you go inside and uh, oh, transporter room. Transport room. So, I, Transport yeah. Room. That's um, but yeah, I mean, I I feel bad for the kid. You know, he's he's done, but. What about well, you get killed? Well, well, I mean, yeah, he's, he's got run over by his own car. I mean, what are you How do? old is he? 27. He, he was 27. Yeah, he's 27. I mean, yeah, well, that, they, okay. said, they said Chalk his Jeep it up was stupidity. Recalled. What was that, uh, Matt? They, they said his Jeep was recalled due, due to a design flaw that made it unclear park, or the car was in park, until the vehicle was ro started rolling. He wasn't sure. Yeah, that's too bad. I mean, um, you know, I mean, let's let's... Give a moment of silence. Okay. So we're okay, blame that's Jeeps. Uh, what? We're gonna blame Jeeps or yeah, some stupidity? I would, I would blame Jeep. I mean, they should recall all the Jeeps, right? I would, I would say, right? 
You know, I mean, what do you think? Yeah, all ones neighbor, look at yeah. Her and so I uh, speak about the neighbor. You are a native. Here, right? them all. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to. I want to ask a, an actual native. Uh, what, what do we? What do you call people from uh, New Hampshire? What do you call them? Like New Hampshire, right? So what do you call? That's them? a good question. Uh, I don't know. I never thought of it. Oh, <laughs> full, of, full of flowers, full of radiators. Right. Yeah. Uh, I never really thought about the Hampshire rights. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. You, you know, I mean, do you know Jimmy? Jimmy? New Hampshire rights. New Hampshire rights. Okay. So as a New Hampshire right, uh, I, I noticed that, you know, going down the road um, that um, a lot of, uh, there's a little mounds of little rocks. What, yeah, what the I, fuck I is know. that about? It's like aliens or something like well, that? Yeah, they, they widen the road, oh, yeah. as you noticed. Yeah. And they had bags there, yeah, like burlap bags with something in them, right? And all of a sudden, like beam me up, Scotty, uh, just yesterday or today, yesterday, the rocks, the beam, the, the bags are gone, yeah, like they disintegrated, right? And there's rocks there, yeah, there's rocks there. What do they put the rocks there for? I don't know, no idea. I never Matt, saw, do you know what why they put the rocks there? I never, I never saw it before, Matt. Probably to screw up your car. If you no, drive too no. Fast. they're on the side of the road, and they're like 10 feet apart, they yeah, put them there apart. to stop the weeds. No, no, no. no. The the fucking f- that's what they, they do. The they weed. stop plant growth. They don't it. stop the that's fucking they weeds. Do, the Joe. fucking weeds are like right. the, the piles. But, are, but, but you got 10 that, foot apart. They're going to be stopping Yeah, weeds. they're going to eventually spread it out. It's not no, enough. It's no. not enough. It's like a pile of what? It's, uh, what do you think? It's probably, I'm going to say, a foot wide. A foot wide. By four feet long. By four feet long. And that's it. I mean, it's kind of like a waste of rock. It's coming out. One and one. foot high. A foot high, foot yeah. High, foot wide, and three. You foot can't long. spread a foot high, you know, what a foot long or whatever. You can't spread them ten feet, can you? No, no, we can't do that. I mean, yeah. but there was there was burlap bags there, and all of a sudden it's like being the Scotty, they're gone, and these rocks are there. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I definitely don't understand that. Man. I never I mean, saw that's, it. That's, that's, I never saw it. Yeah, that's 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 screwy. That's screwy. Very screwy. Um, anyway, one other thing, if you want to uh, um, tweet into us, uh, you can call uh, tweet into us at um, Radio One. Um, and also, uh, what the other eight six six two two five five four zero one. Um, our lines are up. So uh, if you want to give us a call, give us a call. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and um, we'll um, see what we can do. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, I I, I I noticed that going down the road. I'm going, why are they putting rocks like that on the side of the road? They actually... had these bags. I don't know what 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 transpired. They all of a sudden you're, you're blinking. The bags are gone. Yeah, and, there's, 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 there's bags, bags on the side of the road. It's just it's just a weirdest thing. Yeah, I never saw never, I never saw it. I'm 45 years old. I never seen anything like it. Yeah, it's, and I'm five, five, five too, and I never seen them. I never seen them either. Never. You know, um, and so um, let's segue out of the rocks and get into um. Nowadays, um, you know, I read um, in, uh, I forget what magazine, but because I, 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 re- I read a lot of magazines, you know, to, to catch up on a lot of things. Nowadays, do you know that, um, you know, Oriental women prefer white males? Do you know that? Yeah. So if you go around and look in town, that's all you see is Oriental girls. We don't have any up here. I, that's I what don't we, see any. Yeah, there, well, we have booths. Right. Yeah. Well, we got moose, right? Yeah, we have moose. But that's a that's a known fact, and that's like a phenomenon. And so my thing was that, um, you know, and and you know, this is only my opinion, not to not the opinion of um, of the Arm Radio Global family. Okay. But every ten years, um, you know, there's a cycle of of you know women that you know um, you know people like, right? Guys like, right? So like in the seventies, you know, um, they're like you know like the Foxy Brown types, the black girls, right? In yeah. the seventies, right? And so in the, the 80s, Afros, yeah. yeah, and the Afros and the you know like Jimmy likes Jimmy. I think Jimmy had an Afro at one point. Did you, Jimmy have an Afro at one point? Yes, Jimmy? I did. Yeah, I he, think he, he said he yeah, did. Yeah. He did. He used to jump in a pool and his hair wouldn't get wet. His head would get wet. Right. And then in the in the eighties, the eighties was the Russian girls. Everybody wanted a Russian girl. You know, they're they're you know they're the thing to do. Oh yeah. In the nineties, it was Brazilians. The Brazilian girls. Everybody wanted a Brazilian girl, right? And in the and now now we're in this decade or whatever. Uh, everybody wants an Asian girl. I don't know. It's just it's just weird. It's the yeah, weirdest thing. You know? I, I never thought yeah, about it. We don't we'll see the Asians. Up. Well, this is the fucking 2000s. This is the 2000s. Isn't no, it? this is the teens. What do you mean? This is the teens, the 2000s, from 2000 <laughs> to 2009. All right. Well, maybe they overlap. <laughs> Did they overlap? Yeah. Could they, can they overlap? No. Yeah. No, they can't overlap? What do you mean? Every, you're telling me everybody all of a sudden is into Asians? 
that, look, I'm, I can look, understand I, it because look, they're educated and they Google make it, money. Man. You don't have to fucking believe anything I say. Just Google it for yourself. I mean, that's pretty much the way it is. I believe you said you heard, read this somewhere. Yeah, I read it. I mean, that's all you got to do is fucking Google it. You know what I mean? And Google it hey, up. Jimmy, and... it's, it's, he said the majority of people, not all everybody. Right. They don't the like the body types of their own people, is what I'm telling uh -huh. you. No disrespect to anybody. And this hey, is not the opinion of, of uh, I'm Radio Global, and I talk with Joe Rocks. <clears throat> but the fact of the matter is, that's I, you know, I, you know, I read that, and that's that's, that's what it is, and that's that's hey, that's it. That's I don't get mad at Korea. me. I didn't. I did write a year in Korea, and there was a lot of guys bringing Korean wives back. Right. I mean, you know, that's just. I mean, I, you know, I mean, that's that's the fact of life, and I'm sorry. That's not a majority of people going after Asians. It, oh, it's a lot of people. Okay, I said Google it. All you got to do is Google it, and then it will explain all that. Give stuff. But I will tell you, it makes sense because, like I said, they're educated, they make money, they're independent. Hold on. So, so the only type of the Asians they go for is is actually Chinese and Japanese. The other two, uh, which are Korean and uh, what Taiwanese, uh, they don't go far because they're not that educated. Pretty much right. uh, Vietnamese. Vietnamese. I'm sorry, not not Taiwanese. Vietnamese. Uh, they, because they're not that educated, but Chinese and um, and uh, Japanese—that's Japanese. what that, that, that's that's what they're going for. I mean, you know, I, you know, whatever. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just I'm just like doing my civic duty to 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 uh, tell people that to get it out there. Yeah, I want to get it out well, there. But they uh, they actually value an education. You know, they're glad to get it and, and they excel at it. Right, they're very smart. I believe. I, yeah, I agree with you, and it's very seldom I agree with Jimmy. But I, I do agree with them. They're Jap very smart. Japanese own own half this country. Bro. Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, they're very very smart people. I mean, there's nothing you can there's nothing you can say about that. That's just the way it is. Yeah. But um, getting back to a um, uh, thing, uh, you know, I mean, um, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. Just research it, people. That's all you got to do. You don't have to take my word for it. Just research it. I mean. Uh, that's all I got to do. It's a computer age. It's it's a computer age, yeah. Okay. yeah. Google it. Yeah, yeah, you can Google it or whatever you got to do. Um, but um, <clears throat> more second thing. And um, uh, actually, what else? Oh, um, I was gonna say something else about something else. What else are I going to say? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can't say that, but you know, you know, you know, you sometimes you you think about funny things, but you don't want to talk about them. Oh, yeah, why not? No. no I, I, well, I can't, I can't really talk about oh, okay. it. Okay. No, I mean, really, I, you know, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, you can't, like some things are better left, left unsaid. Uh, yeah, exactly, that that, that, that thing. Um, so I came home last week anyway, and uh, Coach was standing in the yard like a lost puppy. Actually, what he the, was with my puppy. What's the, what the lost puppy? Yeah, actually, last Thursday when I came home, because I got home late, um, Coach. Baby, babysat. Yeah, Coach was outside with my dog, Mario. Uh, he ran away because of the uh, fireworks, right? Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't like fireworks. So, um, joke him home, this, this little this little guy, the little puppy sitting on the stairs. Yep. Um, and I I did read I, I did read one other thing, and this is how fucked up people are, right? Um, the, this guy he left his kid in the car. I think she was like one or something like that. I really don't know her age, and she got like sick because of the heat. So you know what he did? He put her in the fucking refrigerator. <laughs> That's not funny, but you I'm just saying. Who the make, fuck does that? You can't make this shit up. No, I don't make nothing up. I, I read that. Yeah, that's what he put do. he put his kid in the refrigerator to like chill her out or something. I really don't know, but you know, wow. she, you know, he uh, didn't. I, didn't you know, I, I guess. Well, I mean, no, it's not funny, but I'm just saying that's what he did. What did he happen to the kid? Well, she checked out. Well, you don't put a kid in the fucking refrigerator. So, so, Take him to the hospital or something like well, that. Well, yeah, she checked out. Yeah. You kidding me? Oh well, you know. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. About, uh, Some people shouldn't be parents. What can I tell you? Well, what's 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 your take on this um this kid that uh, got beat, killed by the, the alligator in Florida, in Orlando? Uh, uh well, that that there. Uh, well, I mean, I wish Kimberly was on, you know, because she's more brutal than I am. You know, I'm, I'm kind of like the, the good guy. She's the bad cop. I'm the good cop. Okay. But um, um, personally, um, um, I, I you know, I really don't want to say. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't want to really say anything about that. I mean, I, I it's, you know, I, being I've been in that hotel before um, in the Floridian, yeah. Um, and I I've been in the area, so I know exactly what the area is. Um, and personally, I um, if I had a two year old at night, I would not leave her in in her or him in the area that you know. What in the water. water? 
or anywhere near the shore. Right, anywhere near it, exactly. Because they have an outdoor movie in that area, and they're supposed to sit on stools and watch the show, not, not play in the water. Right. But, you know, I mean, it's unfortunate, right, that that happened. Very, very yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, it's, it's very unfortunate, and I feel really bad for the parents and the, and the child. Very unfortunate. But, uh, you know, as far as Disney goes, I really don't think it was Disney's fault. It has nothing to do with oh, Disney. that's exactly yeah. my thought, yeah, because... I mean, I mean, anybody with half a brain knows you. Like you just said, you don't go near a shoreline, even especially at night. Even during the day, you don't do that. Well, unless you you're uh, unless you're single. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. Unless you, unless you want to take the wife and never right. walk in there. Yeah, you know? something like that. Yeah. Um, but he, you know, he had the kid in the water, and uh, you, I, you're exactly right because they found like four of them, I guess. And these, these, this, they're infested with gators down there. Gators right. go, they run the place. They go anywhere they want. Right. You know what do you? So you got a gator do what he wants to do. Right, they go into hoodoos and everything. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it, it, there's an abundance of them. So why would you be even near? If you had, if I had a puddle in my backyard in Florida, I wouldn't go near that puddle. Right. Exactly. Being, yeah. being afraid because, uh, but and like you said, I I agree 110 percent. I said, why, why should Disney be a fault with that? Now the, the like the Gordon put signs up now. Watch out for the you know alligators. Don't go in the water and shit. But they had they had signs up saying no swimming. Right. It's nothing about gators. Right. Um, but the gators came on their own. It's not like they put them there. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, it's very it's very, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate, very unfortunate. It happened, but you can't. You can't I don't blame Disney for that. Okay. Well, they so, they said two separate times that other families have been down there. Yeah. And have been chased by gators in the last couple of weeks before that incident. Yeah, I heard something about that too. Yeah. So. You know, but I mean, like for example, you know, I, I oh, okay, I, I said, well, we're calling Dina right now because she just, she just sent me a um, text, you know, and you know, as you know, I've been hello, I, I, hello, Dina, hold on, as you know, I've been praising Dina, you know, that she's awesome and she's my best friend and stuff like that, and 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 you know, we 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 work together great and she's awesome, um, and I gave up instructions on how to do this to get in here and she didn't know how to do it so i don't know what the fuck i just did so i'm going to erase everything that i just wrote tina everything that i just wrote even height? Uh, even i'm going to and i know i i just i just build her up so so big it's you know like she, and, and then this happened you know she she's like a she'll she'll be she's like a goddess right she's like a goddess right and then she goes how do i get in i mean hello so welcome everybody uh what well, uh, you gave me six one seven six one seven five zero four four, buddy. Come on. No, no, I didn't. Uh, no, I didn't. And, and you, you, you can't t- uh, t- say my phone over the over a global radio station well, you know, because I'll have all know. kinds of I'll have all kinds of women, quacks calling me. No, no, women. I'll have all kinds of quacks calling me. You know what I mean? I, you know, you know, asking for your number, Buddy, Dina. It's a, apparently, it's wrong. It doesn't really matter. So no quacks are calling you because I couldn't even get in. No, that's true. So it wasn't right. Yeah, that's you true. You dialing that's the wrong number. number. <laughs> yeah, she. Yeah, well, yeah, she dialed the wrong number. But anyway, um, this is Dina Catulli, and Dina, um, she does um all the night talk, um. Uh, health and fitness. She does a fantastic job. She 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 makes me smile. She I mean she's a she's a real uh, uh, she's a she's a great person. She helps me out a lot and stuff. And uh, but she doesn't know my phone number, so that's kind of like fucked that's up, right. isn't it? Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's fucked, fucked up. up. Yeah, it is fucked up when you think about it. <laughs> so uh, how have you been, how have you been, Dina? I have been great, and I can't thank you enough for um, giving me the wrong phone number and making <laughs> this um, segue awesome. Yeah. Um, and thank you for having me every Thursday night. I look forward to this every Thursday night. And um, what kind of health, fitness tips do you want to ask me other than phone numbers? Well, no, I mean, you know, I, you know, I mean, you know, you you give a lot of health and fitness tips to to women, don't you? I mean, that's what is that is that is it geared towards women, isn't it? Um, I try to steer it towards everybody. Really. I thought, yes. I, okay, I didn't know that. I thought it was just for women. I, I, I didn't. Don't you want me to gear it towards everybody? Yeah, yeah I want you to gear it towards everybody. Yes, I, but I, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, because I, 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 I told you, like I told you, I, I needed to go for a flush. What do you call those things? <laughs> a detox. Yeah. A cleanse and detox. I, I wanted to go oh, for a cleanse. You know. Cleanse, yeah. So she has this uh, chemical that she puts <laughs> in. She she drinks or whatever, right? What what is? What, tell about the that cleanse oh, thing. Oh, it's the ultimate reset. It's not just the chemical. It's a Whole body cleanse and detox. Ah. You, it's you couldn't. I don't think you could do it because I see the food you eat, kid. Wow. I see your red meat and, and your crabs and your. And I just said steamers. 
<laughs> well, I mean, Steve is a good for you. No, you. Okay, there you go. I'm reading the good stuff. No, uh, well, I mean, you know, I mean, so uh, w when you do this detox, right? Yeah, uh, that yeah. means that you can't eat like meat and stuff like that. Not for three weeks. For three weeks. You, you, it's 21 days. You can't do that for 21 days. Anybody can do this for 21 days. Uh, no red meat. No red meat. I don't know about that. What about chicken? Nope. No chicken no either. Chicken. No, no. The first week you have the first week you have a little bit of chicken, but it's a lot of um, healthy carbs, which is legumes. I love that word. What is legume? Is that, is that like a little lagoon. small lake? It's not like moon. No, no, it's like a lake in a, in a in <laughs> black moons. No, isn't it a lagoon like a lake and an yeah, oh, island? No, that's a lagoon. It's a cove a lagoon, on an island. L a g o o n. This is lagoon. L e g u m e. Oh, lagoon. Lagoon. What does that mean? What is it? It's beans. It's healthy protein. Oh, it's, God, um, that's disgusting. It's gross. Listen, I just let me tell you something. I'm all about protein. I can do protein and vegetables and no carbs, but this is they they do it beach body is the bomb that they do and they they produce all these things they research it they get the best of the best of the best and what they did i'll tell you right now in 21 days i lost 14 pounds and i lost 12 inches inches total and that was just from eating this stuff of <laughs> it's like it was oh zucchini soup who doesn't love zucchini soup? You take a zucchini and you take some salt and you take some amino acids and you mix it up. It's the bomb. Oh, that, that, that sounds that. really delicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would rather have zucchini soup than a New York strip. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. but what if it lowered your cholesterol? What if you had high cholesterol in 21 days later? Well, I, you know, I, I, I understand what you're saying. I, I, I understand what you're saying, Dean. I mean, you know, and 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 you know, believe me, I, I seen the results because she actually shows the results of what she's doing actually. oh i'm sure i'm sure she's yeah i mean she she you know she shows the results and it, but the thing is that you know i mean it's hard for people to um to do that right yeah. oh and yeah you it's, well, it's, it's hard even hard for, for you but it was hard for you too right of course it's hard but if you want what you want and you want the results i'm still working at it but, but if you, you want a good jump shot yeah it's yeah, I mean, it's 21 days. It's not like it's 2,100 days. It's three weeks. You can't do this for three weeks. Come on. I just had a nice prime rib today, too. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. But, and who's the guy in the background that I'm hearing? That's the I coach. Else oh, I just want to, uh, you yeah. know, I, I want to introduce you to everybody. I'm sorry about that, Dina. Yeah. So we have the coach here, and uh, he he sits Hello. he sits next to me in the studio, and we Hi, also coach. yeah we nice also we also have uh, Matt. Uh, and Jimmy, oh, uh, they produce, they're, they're actually producing us, uh, and so uh, just so you know, and and um, we're the voices you hear. We're the, we're the voice. We're the voice of reasoning. Yeah, we're the voice. Oh, of, the voice well, of we, reasoning. Well, we try to be. We, we we do try to be. You know, but I mean, I don't know if I can go for a, you know a, a cleanse. Like, does that mean your entire system is clean? Like, you know, your, your intestines and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So time. you're telling me Matt and Jimmy can't do this for 21 days because I'm going to have to. Little challenge. Here. Well, no, Jimmy. Jimmy, uh, to be honest with you, to be on all fairness to Jimmy, right? He's what a pot smoker. For Twenty-one days. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's a pot oh, smoker. That's not going to work. No, he's a pot smoker, so he gets hungry a lot and stuff like that. Right. Can I? Can I say well, he's, he's a pot smoker? I live on one meal a day. Well, I'm a wine drinker. He says it. I'm a wine drinker, but I had to stop it for twenty-one days. You can't start smoking that weed for twenty-one days. Kid. No, Jimmy can. No, he can't. No, Jimmy I can't. can't. Tell no. him it's me medical purpose. Right, it's yeah. an everyday thing. Smoke no, he's he's, 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 he's um, it's, it's his medication. It's medication. Yeah. It's medication time. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, it's okay, his medication. medication time. And so he 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 needs that. He really doesn't need that. You know, he he's you know he thinks he does. Yeah, he, he, th he thinks. I'm he does. okay. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah. He's, he's all right. He's okay. Um, it's but right. I mean, it sounds good. You know, I I you know I I would like to try that at some point, probably like. When I don't I'm, think you can do it. Pot? I don't think you can do well, it. He, no, he, 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 pot, you friggin' moron! We're talking about this <laughs> cleanser. <laughs> Right? Yeah. No, I don't about, think I don't think you can do it, Joe. No, I, I, I think, think I, you know, yeah, I don't look, think you uh, no, I think I could because I, I quit smoking. Right? Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you could do this cleanse. This was the hottest thing. I'm telling you right now. No, no. You, you, no I can tell. I see your post. I see the wine you're drinking. I see that meat you're eating. I see the fried calamari. Come on. I, you can't do it. Really? You can't do it, kid. 
Yes. So that that means that means uh, uh, there's no hope for me, pretty much, right? I'm, I'm, I'm. No, there is hope. You know why? Because not everybody has to do a cleanse. How about everybody just eats healthy, works out? Well, I like to try, I like healthy. to try a cleanse. You know, I like to try that out. You it's, know, it's, I don't really? worry about it. It's tough. No, I, I never try. Well, I mean, you know, I like to like. Well, I don't want to like clean out too much, right? I mean, I, I do have some protein. Uh, do, do, do they take all the protein out of you and stuff like that? So the first week you have a teeny tiny bit of protein. It's a lot of vegetables and protein, and then the second week is pretty much not really a lot, and you're going into fruits, vegetables, and those legumes I talked about. And then the third week, it's just mad fruit and vegetables. That's it. I like fruit and vegetables. Uh, yeah, but I, 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 yeah. but isn't a lagoon like a little uh, cove in an island or something like that? What's it look like? No, that's a lagoon. That's a lagoon. Right. That would be L A D O O N. Right. No, then it's like a bean. It's a bean. It's a. It's filled with protein. It's beans. Like, Nobody likes like, beans. I like chickpeas. Is that? Can I eat chickpeas? Um. Yeah, but they have a lot of carbs. I like so that's bait. not. Yes. And no. Oh, well, I, well. You see, I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm doing, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Because I, I would like to lose a little weight. You know, to get camera ready for an upcoming uh, thing I'm doing. But um, I am doing um what they call the cantaloupe and <laughs> the, hold on, hold on. It's the cantaloupe okay, and yeah. blueberry diet, Joe Rocks. That's the Joe Rocks cantaloupe and blueberry diet. Yep. And so what okay. I do? Hold on. Can I say what I do? Can I, you, can. We, you know, and and you know, because you'd like, uh, what are you you're making fun of my diet, and I'm gonna I'm I gonna am. share with everybody. Go ahead. Okay. So what I do here's, here's here's what I do. Okay, Re you ready for it? I'm ready. I have a you know I have um, a cup of coffee in the morning, okay. right? You know, <laughs> a, a nice coffee. Hold on, can I finish my thing? <laughs> okay, I have a nice coffee in the morning, right? You know, don't yep. some honey do, yep. and I get. Yeah, what do you put in it? You put regular, I got a regular, a regular iced coffee. Hold on. And so you that, put milk and sugar in it? No, cream and sugar. Yeah, so cream, right there, cream. that's bad. Okay, so that's enough right there. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Okay. And then I get two plain donuts. Oh, my God. Plain. Oh, plain. I don't, I don't get jelly. I got plain. I don't care. Hold on. Yep. Hold oh on. My God. Hold on. Can oh, I finish it? No. Then for lunch, oh, hold, two oh. plain donuts. Yeah, well, you know, I'm hungry in the morning. So, and, then, and, then for, uh, and then for lunch, I have my cantaloupe. Right, you know, I have a yeah, cantaloupe yeah. and blueberries, and then at night yeah. I'll I'll have like well tonight I had eggplant and meatballs, you know, and that's pretty much it. Like and parmesan, eggplant meatball parmesan. With yeah, cheese. and I'm I'm, I'm cleansing it out with yeah, some wine. Honey. No, honey, no, you're not. And some wine. Awesome. Well, the wine is blue. Isn't the wine blueberries? Yeah, same thing. Same thing, right? Yeah, that'd be great. Or that'd whatever, great. same thing. Blueberries. Yeah, they go have on. all kinds of sugar. Time for yeah. commercial, Joe. All right. Okay, we'll be right so back. Guess, hold, on. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Dana. We'll be right back, uh, guys. So we're going off to commercial, and uh, we'll be right back after these messages. All right. Hey, Dan. How's the day going so far? My day? Couldn't be better! You pull up less than three minutes after I open my lift app, and how do you greet me? With a kind hello? Just delightful! Uh, great. Care for a cookie? <laughs> a cookie? A cookie? A chocolate chip cookie? You know, I'd love one. Sure. Hey, let me ask you something. How did you know I love this song? I mean, come on, it's the Cold War kids. Everybody loves them. Whoa! Who taught this guy how to merge? That was a fantastic merge! Couldn't agree more. That's it? That's all this costs? What's this thing running on? Smiles and high fives? You son of a bike! I love you! Thanks. Have a great day. Lyft. Driving you happy. Just download and go. Savino Wine Preservation System is wine preservation glassware. Savino is an easy-to-use wine preservation system that allows you to enjoy your favorite wines anytime without waiting for an occasion. Open any bottle with confidence, knowing that you can enjoy the full original flavor of Tuesday's wine on Saturday. For more information, visit us at www.savinowine.com. Today's wine, tomorrow.
Welcome back, everybody. That's, that's, we need that a pretty good. Welcome yeah, back, everybody. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, good job. I'm telling you, you know, he's getting he's better and better every way. week. Yeah, yeah, every week. You know, it took him three years, but he's. he's the plot's got something to do. Something. Yeah, I think the plot's, the plot's doing, doing great. Yeah, uh, everybody, tonight we have um, Dina Catulli on. Um, you know, this is the night talk, uh, health and fitness, and I'm really um, honored uh, to yeah. have her come on tonight. She, you know, she she gave us. Um, she gave us the time. She's a very busy woman, and uh, to come on, tips. yeah, tips inter- inter- interesting hips. Wow. I'm never too busy for you. No, she go. Did you just say inter- interesting hips? What the? Yeah. Heck? What did someone say? Lips or hips? Hips. What? He just said. What? Joe just said hips. Oh, I th- what did you say? Tips. Oh, tips. Oh, tips. Tips. Oh, oh, tips. tips. Did you say tips? No, no, no. He didn't say tits. He said he said tips. Like you know, like oh. like little. Uh, what do you call those? Uh, my weekly health. Tip? Yeah, well, yeah, well, ex- weekly health. Tip. Exactly. Yeah, and uh, you know, I, I get a lot of um, you know comments on those things. Uh, you know, so you are, you know, a lot of people are paying attention to what you're saying. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it's really, really uh, cool. That's really, really cool. I mean, uh, actually, for all, and you want to wait? Can I say one other thing? Yeah. I'm not going to lie because I really do have nice. Yeah. You can't no. say that on the air, yeah, she okay? Will, she no, can't no because they, they this we're broadcasting that. in Arabia. Yeah, you can't. You can't. No, you can't say that. Yeah, I know people in Arabia. No, you don't. Yeah. I think you can. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, if, uh, now they know. Politicians can say the things they say today. I can say I have nice. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's... And, and you say it proudly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You, you know what? I mean, listen. I'm going to tell you something. If I was in a bar fight with anybody, okay, yeah. I would want to be in with. Dina Catulli, Cindy Hobbs, mm-hmm. right, and also yep. uh, Kimberly, um, those three, right, and then uh, a- 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 Amy Shafalo probably hit people over the head with with wine balls in the background, and then Sarah will just hit them off the teacups, you know, because she's in the after UK. they're empty, oh. yeah, yeah, after, yeah, after they're empty, pretty, yeah, after they're empty, but yeah, I mean, um, no, I, I, you know, getting back to what you were saying um, on cleansing and stuff like that, I mean. I don't think men can really cleanse, can they? Because they need protein. Is that is that right? Is that that's so? A- no, I think men can definitely cleanse, and I I'm, I'm being all serious right now. I think men can definitely cleanse, mm-hmm. and if you seriously, I cleanse famous, what? Honestly, I wouldn't go for the cleanse. I would go for just eating healthy. Like I didn't love it. It was 21 days of of craziness, and you lose weight quickly. And yeah, your blood levels. If if you had high cholesterol, and then you did this cleanse, and you took the blood levels 21 days later, yeah, it's going to be great. But then what happens when you're done and you go back to eating like crap? Yeah, that was my next. That was, that was my next question. Like you said, do 21. Then what happens? So my, my my point is that I don't I, I don't I don't love it. I'm glad I did it and I and I yeah. and I thought it, I had great results. However, for me right now to talk to my like clients or people that want information, I would tell them honestly to just go the healthy route of eating clean and eating healthy for a lifestyle and eating the junk that you want in moderation because I, I just I, I don't I don't I didn't love it. And that's the truth. I don't think anybody got said it better. She's exactly right. Like a two donuts. No, I'm going to make a salami every, sandwich. Every, every woman that comes on, you agree with everything they say. She, she's right. Do, but you say every, every day. What, what's the first words out of his mouth? What? I have two donuts in the morning. Well, be, but I donuts, need them. They're not your friend. Be, uh, well, I, not, I, I need They're not your friend. Why can't you, um, I don't know. Why can't I what? I have an egg even. Why can't you have a Shakeology egg? There you go. That's Be, well, well because a couple of donuts down down uh, Honeydew is, uh, is cheap, right? It's like two no. bucks. We'll, we'll pitch oh, in. We'll no. pitch in and give you a buck extra for the for the show. No, I'm just you know. Look, I you know. I mean, donuts are the worst thing you can eat. I, yeah. Well, I eat plain donuts now. Are you really it, eating donuts matter. every morning? Well, I eat plain donuts. I'm not, why do you think plain no. is no better? No. What? You know what a donut is? Yeah, it's with the other good. It's sugar. It's just, it's, it's, it's like, why don't you just why don't you just take a bucket of sugar and pour it down your throat and go? Oh, I just had my two donuts. It's it's not a sugar race. It's a plain donut. It has no sugar on it at all. 
Patty, what do you? How do you think they make it? How, what do you? What do you with dough. Yeah, yeah, with dough. With pizza dough. But, 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 oh. What? Oh, Even man. pizza dough is bad some... for you. You like your you pizza? I do love pizza. You know what I'm doing? What? This is my. This is. A, I'm coming into that studio, and I'm going to show you how you make donuts. Okay? I'm going to show you what is inside a plain donut. No, oh, I. You have uh, poor uh, eating habits. Uh, yeah. Okay. Really? No, it's ugly. Donuts are ugly. Oh, you yeah, drink beer all the time. What the that, fuck are you talking that's about? It's good for you. No, it isn't. Is yeah. beer okay? Dina, can you drink beer? What? what? I hate beer. It's bloaty. Yeah, no. Okay, so what what is a what is a good drink to if you're on a diet? What is a good drink vodka. to have? Vodka, vodka, and club soda with a lemon. Okay, so that's yeah. So that's pretty much it. But not wine or anything Which like I, that. I think I I think I no wine has a lot of sugar. I love wine. I, yeah, I love wine. But I did drink a lot of your gray goose by the way. But, you know that. Right? Yeah, no doubt. I'm sure. But but alcohol is <laughs> pure sugar too. No, but I, I thought that wine. I thought wine is um is it's just grapes. Which you know what I mean. Nope. Okay, so what's a grape? What what is a grape? It's a round thing that grows on a bush. Right. So a grape is all Fine. sugar. So it's natural. So it's fruit, like apple. Like that's why when you're on a diet and you're trying to lose weight, they limit your sh- um your fruit intake. Like you can only have maybe a small apple a day. That's they don't right. want you having a hoard of of grapes because it turns to sugar, which is exactly what wine does. You have. Three glasses of wine, and it turns to sugar inside your body. What does sugar do inside your body? It turns to fat. Ah, okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Well, so if you have, if, you, if you're trying to lose weight, and you're working out, and you're eating right, and well, you want to have a cup out. of healthy drink, Who, no, I don't have time to work out. You have to have absolute or gray goose with club soda and a lemon or sparkly um Delta water, and that is the the least caloric drink that you can intake. Really? Yeah. Did you hear that? No. So you can only have Grey Goose and um and and club soda. What about anyway, alcohol? Is pure sugar. Alcohol Absolutely. Is, it's, it's pure well, sugar. I don't know. Uh, talk to me about the galoons. I never seen them before. Where do I find them? <laughs> galoons. The lagoons. Whatever. Yeah. Lagoon. No, wait, no, because I'm not going to talk to you about the lagoons because I don't like them. And I don't, you I, just I don't say, you told me, you, like you, you wrote that they I were did. awesome. You said that. No, no. Just go back in the tape. I never said they were awesome. <laughs> I said that's what I did for the 21 days, and I wasn't loving it. What I said was. What about if you put some red sauce I, on a marinara or something like that? Well, no. Well, <laughs> what's it's tomatoes. Red sauce? tomatoes. It's tomatoes. Tomatoes have high sugar. Oh, frick. I don't know. I, I, I'm, the more you, the more you're talking, to be honest with you, I don't want to get cleaned out. You know, I yeah, do. You get I don't. You, you'll be on. You, you can't get... be clean. No, I'm clean. You can't be. Clean. I'm clean. I take showers all the time, but yeah, I'm you clean. can't be clean. But what I'm saying is, I, you know, I don't. I mean, for what you went through, and then you know, and then all of a sudden, then you got to go. You got to go back to your 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 regular routine. What's the point? Is what I'm trying to say. Well, the point the point is when you're done with it, you're supposed to continue, which what? I have. Right. No, you just so so so. This is what I'm doing. So stop, shut it, and listen. I'm doing 1,200 calories a day. Limit That's your bad good. carbs. This is this is the easiest trick for anybody. There is no there's no um puzzle here. You limit your bad carbs. Do not eat white bread. All the stuff Italians love. I love it all. Pasta. Pasta. No yeah. white pasta. We can't eat it. Were you like no that, bread? Were you purchased? <laughs> I went to a course for this. No, I, I went through this. Oh, you went to you went through this. I went through. Who this. went to a course? He did. I did. The coach. Nutrition. Nutrition. Oh, he's a new, he's a nutritionist. He knows. He knows. Oh, yeah, he don't know shit. He drinks. He drinks eight thousand cans of beer a year. I mean, he don't know shit. Yeah, but does he? Yeah, but does he? Does he work out all the time and eat right? Yeah, he yeah. rides a riding lawnmower around the neighborhood. I, sw- I got a sw- I swim in the pool. Best exercise you can have. Yeah. <laughs> No, he doesn't really do anything, well, to be true. honest with you. He doesn't. I mean, I haven't seen him do it. You work out? Yeah, I'm in the pool every day. Oh, what do you do, laps? Yeah. How can you do laps in a 16-foot laps? pool? I have a beer at each end. Oh. Uh, 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 I, yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know. This is what this is what, this is is what what we, we, we deal with. You're ruining my 
my health and fitness talk. No, you no, yeah, no. I mean, yeah, uh, you know, I I agree one hundred percent with you. And and um, but you're not listening. Uh, no, I I, 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 you know, I well, yeah, listen. Smack you down. Hold on. I think we hold hold on. Down. I listen to everybody. You know, I mean, I. You know, even though you think I'm not listening, I, I hear everybody and I listen to it and then I digest everything you said. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that, like you know, donuts. no, I, I'm thinking, no. well, I'm thinking about the lagoon, you know, like a cold oh, in an island. Lagoon. He's still on a lagoon, lagoon trick. Lagoon. Yeah, I want to see what they look like. What do they look like exactly? What, like chestnuts or something like that? No, it's a little fucking bean. Oh, can I not say that? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Now, now the FCC is going to come in and shut us down because you oh, said fuck. God, Don't say sorry. fuck on the radio, no. would you please? The you fucking FCC. The fucking FCC. No, you can, you, you can say whatever you want. This is global. No, it's it's global. You can say whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Right, listen yeah. to me. The end of this story is yes. The the cleanse is the cleanse. But the fact of the matter is, if anybody, like all my listeners and anybody who's listening to this, the way to get healthy is to limit the bad carbs, put in the good carbs, limit yourself to I would say a woman. 1,200 calories, a man, 600 calories. 600? Please get it. 600? 16. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you for tracking me. 1,600, 1,200. I thought you said I don't listen to you. Yeah, really? Yeah, she just did. You did. You, well, you, yeah. No, you corrected me. 1,600. That means you were listening. Men. That's what I mean. I'm going to listen. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You are listening. Yeah. No, I love you. Yeah. Go rock. Yeah, go ahead. So, and uh, if you just eat protein, limit your red meats, your, your, your um, hamburgers, steaks, so once or twice a week, eat fishes, chickens, pork, shellfish, and vegetables, and limit your fruit. What about lobster? It's, I selfish. love lobster. You can eat that all day long, but don't load it with butter. <laughs> well, what's, I mean, what's the point of saying? Yeah. What's the point of eating lobster if you can't put any butter on it, right? I, mean, I about, say you can't put butter. Are you going to go work out and do what I say to do? What's the uh, challenge? I, you know how I work out? I wake up and get out of bed. That's my workout, right? I mean, we drink the law, we get up and get out of bed. No, I, you know, I mean, you know, look, I, I don't know. You know, I, I agree with everything that you say. You know what I mean? I do not agree with um, a man living on 600 calories because I could never live on 600 calories. I didn't say 600. I said 1,600. Can I ask you a question, though? She corrected me. No, herself. she did. Absolutely. Okay. So if, if I take, like, six Oreo cookies and they equal, like, <laughs> 850 calories, and I just have Oreo cookies all day and a glass of milk. Is yeah. that considered okay? Um, yeah, you'll probably lose weight, but you'll die of cardiac arrest yeah, and right. of the arteries. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, what? if that's what you yeah. want, buddy, you can have it. I mean, if you, if you do the math, and if I say, hey, get out of here. If I say, if I say you can have, what I say, 1,600 calories, and you choose to put your Oreo cookies or your pizza or your lobster with mounds of butter and that's what's going to equal the 1600 calories yeah you lose weight but then i'll visit you in the hospital because so, you're going to clog everything but it's all about the well, carbs yeah. too it's all about the carbs it's, all, you said, about the carbs, it's all about the carbs right and yes. that is the truth oh yeah that definitely that is the secret definitely. right well, it's the carbs, the carbs. If you, if you, that's the secret but it, i don't even know what a fucking carb is, looks like you just said fucking it's, again. Let's look at No, but I don't even know what a look. What does a carb look like? It's like an Oreo cookie. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. A carb. A carb is sugar. A carb is white right. bread. Um, cookies. One um, slice. One slice of bread is fifteen carbs. Really? Yep. Well, here, let me just show you right now. Oh, like, show me. How you gonna show me in our video? Ah, uh, shut up and listen. I'm gonna tell you. So here's a muffin that I get for my kids. They're horrifying. So the amount of carbs. That we, okay. So one blueberry muffin. Yep. Listen to this, folks. I, I hear one you. Blueberry, one blueberry muffin Listen is up. 48 carbs. That's not you bad. You said 1,600. No, when I was on a diet, my they had me a 40-carb per but sitting you, diet. But you, you said you could go 1,600 carbs. No, no, calories. No. Well, well how many carbs? So how many carbs are in a calorie? Are you serious right now? How many carbs are in a calorie? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't either. Like, that, now i got to go figure that out. Now I have to find that out. You gotta, let me, let me now you've got to figure it out because all the people are listening, they're probably like sitting on the edges of the chairs going, the or they're probably I'm, Googling I'm, I'm it. I'm dying. I'm yeah, they're, myself. they're probably all freaking well, Googling it. I'm going to Google it. No, I'm going to Google it. But, but they're probably, they're probably on the floor. Yeah, they're probably like choking. Googling like, you know. 
you know, these guys don't know what the hell they're talking about. Google it. Make sure you do it right. Correct. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, you know. I don't have to Google it. All I have to tell everybody is right. the carbs are the problem. Bingo. If you limit your carbs and you eat healthy carbs and you do not have white bread, sugar, cookies, cakes, crap like that, alcohol, you have to limit it, you will be fine. That sounds boring. That's yeah. it. That sounds boring. It sounds boring. It sounds, it sounds. I, I, I did this crap. So you I mean know. no, no healthy people ever, ever, you know, have problems? I mean, is that is that correct? Is that what you're saying? If you're oh, healthy, no. you're never gonna have problems. No, that's not. Serious. Wait, what's the question? No, no healthy. So in other words, like that? if you if you're wicked healthy, that means you're never gonna you're never gonna have problems. Is that is that what you're saying, basically? Oh, so um, that's I'm what you're saying. saying. That, no, that's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? I'm saying if you see, I'm saying that if you see a skinny chick. Right. Let's just use a girl, for example. Let's say you see Well, hold on. Is she a smoke, a smoke show or just, yeah. like, just a you know, she's random a five? Show. Okay, all right. She's a smoke show okay. in a bikini. I like some meat on there. Okay, I'm listening. Go no. ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm saying she's a... She's a okay, okay. Let's use our imagination. Uh, <laughs> she's a smoke show right. in your mind. Whatever you think is hot, whatever. All right. Coach thinks is hot, whatever. Coach thinks it's just your woman's hot. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so, so they're all smoke shows. And maybe they're naturally thin and that's their body. But well, if they eat donuts and bread and they have two, what'd you say, clean donuts every day? <laughs> they're not honey dipped. They're not honey dipped. Oh, whoopee dang, huh? Whoopee dang, huh? Whoopee dang, huh? Honey dipped. Go ahead. They're not healthy. All right, well, I mean. And they're going to get fat. How about a croissant? A croissant, that's a French. A croissant has very many. Bad carbs, very bad. Carbs. Everything you eat is bad. Yeah, that sucks, man. I'm it sorry. does. I mean, it does. It sucks. But she's right. Everything you eat. No, I mean, I know she's right. She knows her shit. But everybody says, well, "Wow, I'll eat fruit. I'll eat fruit." There's a ton of sugar in fruit. No, but I know. I, but yeah, but I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm trying the Joe Rocks method. You know, with the yeah, candle up in the some, noontime. Hey, well, Joey, you know, eat some cardboard. That. But not your two donuts in the morning. But isn't okay? So you know, I mean, rather than having a roast beef sandwich, I have, a, I have cantaloupe, right? I mean, what's, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing. Have the roast. Have the roast beef sandwich without the bread. And right. I get, exactly. So, uh, do, do me the favor. How can I hold it? Hold on. Bite your fork. Cut it up. Wait, listen, listen, listen to my challenge for you for one week. What's today? Today is. I can't do it. Challenge. I'm too weak. One challenge. Okay. Five days. Right. Do not eat bread. Eat your protein. Eat, get a roast beef sandwich. You can have the sauce how, on it. How can I hold it? How am I going to hold it? Put it in a plate, in a knife and fork. It, you put it. You don't, you don't need the bread. Put it in a plate and it, it cut it up in a knife and fork. That's a that's a fag, a fag. I can't do that stuff. A fag? No, I, can't, I mean, what do you call them? You know, the lady guys. You know, I can't do that. Pick it up. Pick it up with your hand. Don't eat the fingers. bread. You can't eat a roast beef sandwich without the bread with I your can. hands. I, I, I what am I do. from? Friggin' uh, I what am I from? Do. Iraq or someplace like that? You're a caveman. No, I'm not a caveman. Cave man. I can't do that. Just make sure you wash you your hands. I'm not Middle Eastern. I, you know, you gotta you gotta use knives and forks and stuff like that. You know, might not have been politically correct. I don't give a shit about, about that. Listen, I don't care about that. Listen, you 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 can't eat a sandwich with no bread on it. It's not natural. Of course you can. No, you. Yes, How can you, can. you eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with no bread? You tell me. I'm not telling you to get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah. Neither am I. How can bread. you eat I a tuna fish sandwich with no bread? You tell me. Don't get a tuna fish sandwich. Right. You put tuna fish in a bowl and you take a knife and fork and you eat it. No, no they, they also right. put it in right. lettuce. Right. Thank you. You put uh, lettuce in there. Put, put lettuce in there. Some well, pickles. Okay. So what about what about what about if I want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? You don't no, have. No, you can't have that. Right. First of all, jelly's all sugar. You, you, I'm yep. giving you a week. Give me a week. Get on the scale today. Give mm. me a week and come back to me in one week. And I tell you to take away. Do not drink. Do not eat no, white bread. I don't drink. I don't. I, I. I'm not a heavy drinker. I don't really drink. I'm not either. I'm. I'm, I'm not a heavy drinker. All right. So then, five days or seven days shouldn't be a problem. Hold on. Don't drink alcohol. He's right. He's right. Hold on. Sin okay, hold on. Sin now I'm holding on. Am I holding on? Yeah, hold on. I think I'm winning this show right now. You are. You're, you're, you're taking over my entire show here and everything else. Hold on one second. I have I have another another person, another know-it-all. I, I know every, I know everything she's saying because I've been um, um, Hold on. I have another know-it-all here. Um, why can't Cindy Hobbs is she, Why can't Cindy Hobbs get in here? Hold on a second. Uh, Cindy Hobbs is uh, my, um, well, the Night Talk um, um, style and fitness, um, you know, style and 
what is it, something, makeup is something. Uh, makeup is something. Yeah, and I wanted to talk to her for a minute. Where is she? Is she here? Cindy Hobbs? Where is she? She, she, uh, she I'm going to call trying, her. I'm trying to get her right now. I'm going to call her right now. Hold on. So, but, uh, hold on. Um, but she, you know, she's another one, another know-it-all. Hold on one second. <laughs> you know, she knows everything, this one. Um, she's actually, she's just like you. Actually, you, you probably, you two are probably related, you know. Um, she's probably Same blood. Yeah. yeah. I really don't know. Um, I can't, I can't get out of this thing. I'm trying to. Um, Cindy, if you can hear me, call me on um, the other number that you think you know. No, yeah. The number that you, no, actually, you Jimmy, Jimmy, can you, can you call Cindy on her, on her thing? <laughs> Jimmy, I don't have her number. On Teamspeak, she's on Teamspeak. She's not on Teamspeak. Cindy, you need to come on Teamspeak. I mean, you know, uh, the thing about Cindy, I think she sm smells too much of the uh, what do you call that stuff that you do to dye your hair? Well, like, the fumes. The fumes, uh, you know, the fumes. Because you know, it's it, this is not her like her first time. This is like her hundredth <laughs> time, and radio. she still don't know how to come on the friggin' show, man. It wasn't that easy. I'm, I'm sticking up to Cindy. You, you screwed it up for me. So no. I, I'm going to go on her side because I couldn't get in either. Well, that's the way women are. You know, they all stick together. All those guys get in. Yeah, yeah, well, we got we got no problems. But hold on one second. Let me see. Let me just. Yeah. One second. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I mean, every. Is this, this is not like one time. This is like every time. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like hold on one second. And she and last week she tried to get in. She said she couldn't. She just got static. Maybe because she what yeah. she she pl tries to call. Oh, I heard something. No, oh, uh, hold on. She said, why is this happening? This is the second week in the row. Hold on one second. Let me just call her right now because you know. So we're not, I, I don't. You know, she not, thinks she thinks coach is doing that or something like that. No, I think she thinks we're on AM radio or something. No, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, but Cindy uh, is getting pretty famous with her. Um, your thing. Hold on one second. I'm going to call her right now. I'm going to actually with Cindy. I'm going to have to put her on speaker because um, because she um, is being bad. <laughs> <laughs> so um, and I'll let her know she's on speaker before she just goes on. Before she goes crazy. Well, before yeah. And so um, we're going to preempt Ia's um, slot because Ia is in Texas filming her thing. Um, so um, basically, that's, I talked to her today. All right. Uh, Kimberly. So does that mean uh, we're not doing Ia tonight? Oh no, we'll do it. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll do we'll do uh, uh, Ia's thing. Let me just see if I can. Uh, I don't know if I can get. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this um Cindy Hobbs? Yes, it is. All right. So Cindy, you've been you've been coming into the show. I mean, you're on the air right now. Just you know, so I just want to let you know that you've been coming into the show for I don't know how many weeks. Probably like what, almost fifty weeks now. Well, a long time, and you still yes. don't know how to get into the show. Why is that? I have been. I'm signing into that team speak thing, and it's all I've got is static. And what happens is when I come on, I get moved into Ew. the lobby. Somebody has to move me in, and then yeah. I can hear everybody. Yeah. Can you hear her, Dina? Dina? Yeah, I can hear her. Okay. So, okay, so you and uh, Dina are here, and uh, she she was actually sticking up for you, uh, Cindy. Um, hey, Cindy. Uh, uh, well, I sure hope so, because I'm not an idiot. No. Oh, listen, I don't even have the lady saying, you are now signed in. Okay. Okay. Well, you are now disconnected. Uh, okay. Well, uh, Okay, well, I don't, I don't, I don't think, um, well, Cindy, I don't think, uh, Dina, I don't think Cindy can hear you because, you know, but no, I, uh, yeah. actually, uh, Jimmy said you was, you sniff up the, uh, the chemical, um, that they, you do use to dye your hair. Dye. You, I did what? You, you sniff up a lot <laughs> of the chemical during the day. Jimmy said that. Jimmy, you know, Jimmy. Uh, yeah. 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 So anyway, there's enough, so I just want to give you a heads up and I didn't, I didn't accept anything from them, uh, Cindy. Um, there's another, there's another salon in, in Wilmington, North Carolina, um, that is following us. Uh, do you know anything about that? There's a what? Another hair salon that's following us in your area. Do you know anything about that? They're following you? Yes. Because, what is it called? Uh, yeah, I know you'd have to ask me that, but hold on, I will get it for you because that's the kind of person I am. Hold on one second. I, see, when you when you or Dean or anybody else asks me to do things, I do it right away. Unlike you guys, <laughs> wait till the last minute, including <laughs> including Amy Shafalo. She called me 10 minutes before the show because I don't know why, but that's what she did, you know. 
Hang on one second. Let me find out what the deal is. But what well, was well, she up to say, eh? Uh, well, she said her boyfriend killed herself, but you know that's basically what happened with that. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Oh, I don't know she, well, I mean, what do you want me to do? You want me to lie to you? I mean, that's what he did. He, he went with us three times. He, 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 he did. He, he went himself know. over the car. No, he didn't. I, uh, he must be one Star Trek, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, he, he could be. I don't know. I mean, it's, well, it's, it's sad. Like to him to him look, I, you know, any <laughs> guy that kills himself after going out with a woman for three, uh, for three, what three times should be shot, right? Basically, <laughs> really, he deserves. What he yeah, does. I mean, he does. Yeah. I mean, he, 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 uh, you know, I'm sorry. To I'm sorry to tell you that, but guys, but. You know, if the girl's not interested in you, cash out, move on. All right, get over it. All right, hang on a second. Let me see who's following us right now. Um, this is a hair salon in Wilmington, North Carolina. Is that where you are, Cindy? Hop? Yeah. Okay. So let me just see who we have here. What's the name of the? Let's see the name. Uh, I guess you're getting pretty popular down south, maybe with uh, because you're you've got the, the General Lee. Well, no, because of <laughs> General Lee. Yeah. 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 She got the roof of a Volkswagen painted in the Confederate flag. <laughs> right? Well, hold on, I'm loading in. I'm 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 loading in on my slow phone, which are, they're both slow. I got a phone. No, you can't. You got a flip phone. I can't. I can't do that. That's on can't Twitter. You do flip phone? I, no, it's on Twitter. I I can't. I can't really do that. Huh? Oh. Um, oh, where are my panties? Huh? Well, you can't really? say that on the air. You can't say that on the air. Coach gets all upset when you do that. Oh, oh she's looking for her panties? I don't know what the hell she's looking for. Yeah, I was looking for my panties. Sorry. Um, uh, hold on one second. I can't. How'd you I, lose hold it? on. Let me just see if I. I want to, I'm going to do it my old fashioned way on the big computer. So just give me a minute. But in the meantime, um, Cindy, um, Dina gave me a, a challenge to uh, see if I can um, not yourself. eat bread. Cleanse yourself. You know, for a week. Could you do what? Not eat bread. Bread. Wait, I, I didn't say not eat right, bread. Right. Yes, you I did. I said don't eat bad cows. Give you a challenge to what? Not eat bread, Cindy. Not eat bread. Oh, don't eat bread. Like that. that makes me fart. It makes you fart? Yeah, I, I thought you was a lady. Yeah, I said fart. No, it's the gluten. Ah, <laughs> uh, so don't get me into this. I thought I was talking to Emily about her friends. I had gluten allergies. No, I said. Uh, okay. <laughs> bread makes. Okay. Guys, if you're going to take Cindy out for pizza, don't give her bread. It, don't give her bread. Yeah. She'll fight all over you. Okay? That's really bread. romantic. I'm surprised guys aren't beating down your door. <laughs> well, no, really? My body, my body morphs. Literally, when I eat gluten, it morphs. I turn into, like, that kid on Willy Wonka that ate the blueberry shit. Really? I want it now, and I eat bread. Oh, no, I got Oh, oh Jesus! Oh my God! That's you know, no, I, I, no. I, I, I really. My stomach, to, it looks like I'm with child. Uh, no, to be honest with you, I don't think women should fart. I never met a woman that fought it. So the actually, you're the first I woman. You're the first woman that ever. Never, no, I ladies, never ladies, met a woman don't, ladies don't allergy. fart. Ladies don't fart. No, ladies don't fart. I never met a woman that fought. My body did now with Cindy, but that's awesome. Yeah. I can. That's I can cross that off my bucket list. There you go. I yeah. can tell you right now that's, that. Ladies, far. No, they don't. No. no. Oh yes, they no. they might not do it in front of you, but I can promise you, when you walk out the door, oh, they're like, oh, oh, thank God he oh, walked out the door. Oh, oh, thank thank God, the key, I was the key holding way. that in, and I was holding that fart in, and I couldn't fart in front of him because he thinks that the fart fairy comes to get it. Oh, as soon as he walks out, and then if we're lucky, you don't walk in in time to smell. It. Cindy, the key word there is ladies. Ladies don't fight. We didn't say girls right. don't fight. We said ladies. Ladies. Oh. ladies. The key ladies. word is okay. ladies. ladies. If there's gas inside of your intestines, I don't care if you're a lady, a woman, a man, or anybody else, that's stuff to come out of your bunky hole. No, like you said, the lady. You can't lady. talk like that. I thought you're looking for a, you know, a, a guy. guy to hug. Yeah. I mean, I should look what for somebody to, to When you want, what, what, what? What do you want me to be? <laughs> no, you're supposed to be talking nice. You don't, you, you don't talk like that if you're looking for a guy to hug. You're going to be sitting the couch. Shit. You're going to be sitting the couch watching a movie? What's wrong with you? You can't do that. You're having a bad day. You're having a bad day. Don't worry about it. 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 Don't worry about it.
Uh, well, I'm just saying you can't say certain <laughs> things. Yeah, you, you I can't. can say fart. Yeah. FCC stands for fart <laughs> control. Uh, uh, well, I can't say the cooter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe it's on. Uh, but you, you can't, you can't eat, eat this. So if you go out, you can't eat bread like our pizza, like Joe said. Right? Yeah, I'm not eating bread. No, but you eat pizza. Eat. Eating pizza, right? They don't say for a commercial. Oh, we're gonna go for a commercial, guys. We'll be right back after this message. I love pizza, but I, I eat the top. Hold, 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 on, hold, on. hold. hold on. Are you streaming? Are you streaming? Hanging there? Um, go for a couple, couple minutes. We'll be right back after these messages. Are you hangry? Know the signs. Uncontrollable yelling. Why aren't you egg rolls? Hallucination. Sushi. Pants discomfort. I hate you, pants. Hangry. It can happen to anyone. Fortunately, there's E24, the app that tells hunger to shut up. Egg rolls. Thanks, Snoop. E24. In my medical opinion, it's the best mother way to order food online, baby. Hey everyone, as you all know, summer is now here and everyone wants sexy summer skin. I'm partnered with Rodan and Fields, the number two premium skincare company in the U.S. We have some fun treats for you guys. Check out my website at www.ewinters.myrandf.com. But wait, there's more. Join as a preferred customer to get 10% off and free shipping for all these amazing products that I'm currently obsessing over. Or email me for a free mini facial or free consultation at ewintersrf at gmail.com to get your sexy summer glow. Hey Dan, how's the day going so far? My day? Couldn't be better! You pull up less than three minutes after I open my lift app, and how do you greet me? With a kind hello? Just delightful! Uh, great. Care for a cookie? <laughs> a cookie? A cookie? A chocolate chip cookie? You know, I'd love one. Sure. Hey, let me ask you something. How the did you know I love this song? I mean, come on, it's the Cold War kids. Everybody loves them. Whoa! Who taught this guy how to merge? That was a fantastic merge! Couldn't agree more. That's it? That's all this costs? What's this thing running on? Smiles and high fives? You son of a bike! I love you! Thanks. Have a great day. Lyft, driving you happy. Just download and go. Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me this week on Goodnight Hollywood. I'm your host, Ia, with all your fashion, music, and gossip on Night Talk with Joe Rocks, 10 p.m. Eastern, exclusively on Armed Radio Global and the TuneIn Satellite Network. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, SoundCloud, and Reverb Nation at Everything Ia, and that's Everything Ia, E Y A. And check out my Facebook fan page. You can find me at Ia, and that's capital E, capital Y, capital A. Okay, it's officially summer, and I can definitely feel the heat. It is 86 in LA today, and it feels more like 100 to me. I'm outside, and I'm burning up. But guess what? It's June 2nd, which means in four days, one of my favorite TV shows, Unreal, season two premiere is coming out. I am so excited uh, for the show. Uh, last season was amazing, and if you haven't if you haven't seen season one of Unreal, definitely go check it out. It's on Lifetime, um, and it's kind of like, uh, it's scripted, but it's behind the scenes of what would happen in a bachelor-type bachelor show. Uh, TV show, reality TV show, and there's lots of drama and craziness, and it's awesome. This past week was Chris Brown's daughter's birthday. Royalty had a Frozen-themed birthday party. There was snow, uh, there was ice everywhere. It was crazy, um, and that is pretty much all the good news that happened this week. This week in Hollywood was very tragic and sad and dramatic and all over the place. Johnny Depp and his wife, Amber Heard, are having a lot of issues. She filed for a restraining order against him saying that he hit her and beat her. But 
a lot of people are not believing that because uh, when the incident happened, his bodyguards, you know, rushed to the scene instantly and they weren't even in the same room. The police came and she had no bruising, no swelling, none of that was in the police reports. But, you know, but the whole situation is very confusing, so no one really knows who is telling the truth and who's not telling the truth. When Amber showed up in court, she did have a bruise on her face that looked like a cell phone, but like I said before, nothing was in the original police reports. The judge did allow her to stay in their apartment. Um, I mean, John Depp and Amber are still married, so it's her apartment too. Um, but this did affect you know, Johnny Depp's new movie that he made with Tim Burton, Alice Through the Looking Glass, it premiered and it didn't score so well in the box office, which is sad because it looks like a really good movie. Uh, the first one was very exciting. There's a lot of special effects, like in this one as well. The makeup was awesome. And it's, you know, it's also sad for everyone else who took all that time to make this movie. Um, I believe if this situation didn't happen when it did, you know, it would have gotten a lot better, um, a lot more people would have gone out and seen the movie. But, you know, the whole situation is sad, you know, if it's true, that's horrible, and if it's not true, that's horrible as well. So, there's just no good side to that story either way. Um, Drake had a huge party in Calabasas. He has a home in one of the exclusive neighborhoods and it was so big that he was actually bussing girls into his party. But you know, things went wrong. Probably people were drinking too much and there was a complete outbreak of girl fight and it was huge girl brawl and a lot of confrontation there. Everyone's feeling spicy this week for some reason. I have no idea. Um, but on other news, uh, Black China and Rob Kardashian got offered seven figures for their baby's first photo. And I'm like, damn, <laughs> that is crazy. But hey, it's the Kardashians, so they can ask for that kind of money. And that's, that's awesome for them. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, I have an interview with Brady Martin, who's no stranger to Goodnight Hollywood. Okay, back after this. Hey there, sexy. This is comedian Jenny Lavoie. You can catch me with the rest of the gang every Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern on Night Talk with Joe Ross, exclusively on Armed Radio Global. Mwah! Hey, Brady, thanks so much for coming back on my show. I mean, uh, you're no stranger to Goodnight Hollywood. You've been my co-host a few times, actually. Yes, I have. But now I'm excited because I actually get to interview you. Yeah. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about what you've been up to. I know you did um, a music video, and you're a big superstar in Egypt now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I did this music video for an artist called Sandy, and apparently... Um, she's this huge artist in Egypt and she has tons and tons of fans but I when I showed up on set that day they just called me the director because I had worked with him before he called me and he was like hey you want to work on a music video today and I was like yeah sure whatever so when I showed up I met this little girl and it was all cool and everything but then I started seeing her social media posts and then I found out that she was just this huge star over in Egypt, and now I have these little, like, fangirls and boys, like, these little <laughs> You have fan super boys. fans. Yeah, super fans, and they're commenting the funniest things on my photos. They're just like, oh my god, you're my everything, and it's just a lot of fun, so. That's adorable. It's, yeah, it's the first time I've ever had the experience of having, like, 
real fans that are just fans and not like friends that are supporting me. So yeah. that's been a really cool experience that I've had recently. And you don't even know these people because they're all in Egypt. Yeah, I have no idea who they are. And they're all like acting like they know me. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea who they are, but yeah, they're, yeah. What are, what are some of the comments of um, that they say? Uh, let's see. So one of them was, they were just like, oh my God, Brady Martin, you are my everything. I love you so, so much. Uh, love, 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 heart, 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 heart. You have to marry me. You're the best person in the whole world. You're the best person I know. And I'm just like, where is this coming from? You saw me for five seconds in a video. That is so adorable. What's, uh, what's the video called and where can everyone find it? Okay, so the video is called Love. Um, and it's by the artist Sandy. And you can find it on YouTube or I think Vimeo, but definitely YouTube. Um, and don't be alarmed that it's not in English because it is an Egyptian singer. So it makes sense for it to be an Egyptian or whatever language they speak. I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, go check it out. I'm definitely in it, and it's good. That's super like cool. It. And it was filmed in L.A., correct? It was filmed in L.A. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what's so cool about this industry. Sometimes you just make really good uh, connections with, like, the director, and then they'll think of you for other parts. Yeah. They even said they wanted to fly me out to Egypt, so... Definitely crossing fingers on that. You should go. I've been to Egypt. It's really cool. It's definitely, um, you know, something you should check out. Uh, go to the pyramids. You can actually go inside the pyramids. Oh, I want to go And so you can bad. walk all the way to the top. Um, but if you're claustrophobic, don't go because there's yeah. no ventilation. It's super hot. Very crowded. I want to go so um, bad. It's really cool, though. And then there's... You would think that the pyramids are in the middle of the desert, but they're right in the center of the city in Cairo. So you can wow. see the pyramids from your hotel room or from the city, wherever you're staying. They're just right there hanging out. Wow. <laughs> I heard they have those walls on them that are like so straight that engineers nowadays can't even figure out how they did it wow. so long ago. What like the mean? walls in the pyramid, oh. like how they're, so, they're cut so perfectly that like engineering tools today can't even cut rocks that well yeah i believe it yeah i mean it was it was really cool it's um you go in like the side of the pyramid and it's kind of like a hole in the wall and then it's like this little cave and then you go up these very steep stairs and it's very hard to breathe um Ugh. And it takes you to this room that used to have uh, the sarcophagus, but it's just, it's empty now. And some people are meditating, some people are praying, some people are just looking around. Like, you can do whatever you wow, want. Wow, that sounds awesome. Yeah, it's people just, like, chilling in a, in a pyramid. Oh my god, <laughs> that's amazing. I so, would love to go. Yeah, check that out. So let's see. Let's see if I can get them to fly me out. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. That'd be an... Uh, and you know what? They have... Uh, on your passport, they have this really cool Egyptian sticker. It's like ra um, like uh, yeah, rainbow colored. Wow. Like if you put it in the light. Yeah. So. And all that could just show up from <laughs> me just showing up one day on set. Yeah. Not knowing what I was getting into. It's because you walked through that door. Yeah. It's yeah. because I showed up. I exactly. think I honestly believe that like that most things in life, like 90% of success in life is just showing up, being there whenever you're supposed to. Oh, definitely. Definitely. So do you have any um fan accounts yet? I do. What? I know. I I think they were created uh, because of that video but I have one on Twitter um, that I was excited to see one time I just woke up and I had this like sh my stream was just full of this person liking my photos and it was Brady Martin fans and I was like oh my god that is so cool I actually have real fans and um, I just got one on Instagram too that is um, so exciting yeah and I'm like I only have like 12,000 followers <laughs> How does that make What's you feel? On? It's good. It's surprised? a little surprising. Yeah. yeah, it is a little surprising. I'm just blown away. I'm not surprised. You're you're very talented. <laughs> I work uh, hard, so. So give a shout out to Egypt. Hey Egypt, this is Brady Martin. Just saying that I love you back, and I would love to come visit you. So if we could, you know, set up some sort of 
fan meet and greet. That'd be great. Oh, that'd be adorable. You could sign your headshots and take yeah. pictures with all your super fans. It sounds so like silly talking about it, but that'd be really fun. It's yeah. not silly at all. Yeah. <laughs> it would be. It would be. That'd really be a lot cool. of fun. It would be. So you are pursuing acting, and you've been out in LA for a couple of years now. So tell me some experiences you've had on set. Uh, let's see. Uh, horror stories or um, fun things. Whatever you want. Let's let's start with fun things. Okay, fun things. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. The only thing that's coming to my mind right now is whenever I was on that that set. Uh, this is actually a horror story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay so. <laughs> it really stuck with. Yeah, you. It really. It really stuck. Okay, so the artist Sandy was shooting the music video, and um, she was on one of those hoverboards, you know, okay. the the ones that roll with your balance and everything. Oh yeah, those are scary. They're so I, scary. I can't even. After do After seeing this, I was like, I will never ride one of those in my life. Yeah. Okay, so one of the shots, she's like going back and forth um, on the hoverboard. She's going backwards and forwards and like leaning and everything, and she's like holding my headshot while auditioning for me in the video. And um, one of the times behind the scenes, whenever we had cut, she was stepping off the hoverboard and it just went crazy. Like it started like moving back and forth, like it got the wobbles, you know, oh. it started moving back and forth really fast. And then she just fell right on her back. And I think she might have even hit her head on the ground. And I was just like, oh my God, it was the one of the scariest things ever. Was she set. okay? Yeah, she was okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> we had to keep shooting, but after that, she had like a headache and everything, and that's scary. You wouldn't be able to tell from the video, but yeah, it was a scary thing. It was well, she's scary. a trooper. Good yeah, she yeah, is. That's awesome. Yeah, kept going. Yeah, show must go on. Did it for the fans. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Um. So, what kind of classes have you... You've been taking acting classes. I know you've been talking to me a bit about them. What are your favorite teachers? Oh, my God, yes. I've been taking acting classes. Um, I just got into two recently that I am absolutely in love with. Um, so, one of my teachers right now is um, Jack Plotnick. And he has been in literally every show you've ever seen. Like, you go down, he's been in, like, Castle, he's been in Silicon Valley, he's been in Girls, he's been in, um, uh, just really every show yeah. you can think of. Supernatural, um, every show. And the funny thing about him is you probably wouldn't even recognize him, actually. He's <laughs> one of those actors, like, he, he plays a vital part, but he's never, he's never, like, the star, okay? Mm -hmm. But he's been in everything. So I'm training with him, and he really teaches you how to how to get out of your head and really just into your body a lot more than um, these teachers who are so result oriented and like say this is how you're supposed to say this or you're supposed to do this or this is keep it active or all these result oriented things um, so he really teaches you honestly how to have fun in your acting and his whole thing is like how can I make this easier and more fun that's his whole thing that's very important I love to learn. it yeah I love him so much um, so yeah, he's one of the people I've been taken with recently. Uh, and then I just recently found another guy named Michael Monks and he teaches at the Ivana Chubbuck studio and he is just so knowledgeable and keeps everything so simple as far as acting. Like now, whenever I watch a scene, I can, in my mind, break it down into its nuts and bolts. Like... I process the information of like what exactly the actor is doing, even if they don't know what they're doing. And I'm like, how can I do that? And then his technique, I guess, teaches you how to reproduce that behavior through the way that humans naturally think and communicate. Uh, so I just, I absolutely love him. And I think his next movie that he's in, um, he's actually starring with Jared Leto in uh, That's super his cool. next film. Yeah, I know he already ha he already filmed the scenes. Um, so just waiting to see if he makes the final cut, but, uh, yeah, he got to act opposite of Jared Leto and he has 104 IMDb credits. Jack has 103. Whoa. Yeah. That's, that's really great to be studying with someone who is still actively working in the industry because they know what they're hiring and they know, you know, 
what you need to get to get to the job. Yeah, like much. I love that both of my teachers are currently auditioning right now. Yeah. yeah. So they're in it with you. They're in it. Yeah. Has this exactly. helped your auditioning a lot? Yeah, because they give you just solid tips of like I don't want to say do's and don'ts, but they teach you how to go in with a certain mindset um, of auditioning. Uh, that it's not about booking the job. It's about creating a relationship with the casting director. Um, you're not going in there to prove that you can be an actor or anything. You're going in there to um, to do the work, like to prepare what you did at home, uh, rehearsed, whatever. You're going in there to perform for a small audience. And then this is my work. You like it. You don't. Great. Either way, I'm fine. I'm an actor. I'm leaving. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. <laughs> You know? Um, so, yeah. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah. I know um, you're one of the people that really studies the craft and is always learning and reading books or going to classes, and I just admire that so much because a lot of people I know don't do that, including me. Sometimes I get lazy. Um, but it's very inspiring to see someone take it so seriously and always working on your craft and I just know you're going to be super successful because you know you put in a lot of work you put in a lot of hard time and you're very talented so you're going to go far I have, I have no doubt about that um what are some of your goals uh let me just say one thing about that I am a firm believer uh what you just said about putting in work and everything um I'm a firm believer that what you don't know can hurt you so I try even if I don't use everything I know, I, I couldn't possibly. I, it all goes in and out, whatever. But even if I don't use everything that I've learned, at least, at least I know that's on the back burner and it's something that I don't want to use. So, yeah, that's a, a big thing with me. Uh, what you don't know can hurt you. And I've seen it happen many times with actors, even on set, like watching them. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> nobody told you this oh my goodness um but that's yeah, in yeah, another yeah. way that's kind of cool because you still can get the job without ner knowing that is true certain things yeah. so it kind of eases you in the oh, audition yeah, yeah. process yeah and that's something that jack definitely would touch on for sure um but my goals uh let's see well one of my one of my big goals uh well, one of my heroes is Brad Pitt. Like, he's always been the person that, like, inspired me to start acting. Um, his philanthropy, everything he does uh, out in the outside world, I've seen his acting be able to change the actual world. Like, it carries over. Um, so something that I want to do for sure is eventually start a charity um, to help uh, third world countries. I know a lot of people have... Uh, no access to water uh, and that's something that gets me for sure because I well I don't want to go there but uh, like I think of it's very personal yes to you. I think of children and how they can't even have clean drinking water and that that gets me for sure so I definitely want to start a charity um, and then I I I don't know if I necessarily have, like, a goal for, like, acting. I think it's more just mastering my craft, being the best I can be, and working, honestly. I think those are the, the keys. I, obviously, there's the end goal in mind, like, being a great actor or being seen as one of the best in retrospect mm -hmm. and what's, all that. Um, but I really want to change the actual world. What's your just, idea of a, of a great actor? Um, Dustin Hoffman... Uh, they all have such different styles when I think about it. Yeah, but what what is it in their in their movies and their acting that makes them a great actor to you, or what do you admire about them? I think it has to do with the ability to really experience and and throw away um, like cliches of how people have done it before, how the industry works like how the Hollywood standard like throwing it away yeah. um, and just doing your own thing like really living out your truest self like whenever the obvious read would be like I don't even want to give an example but like, like throwing away the obvious read yeah exactly yeah. like that 
Um, but there's like an obvious read whenever you go into a script that like, oh, this is how the comedy writers would write or whatever. But it's like taking that away and finding the role like in yourself. Like, yeah, that's me. Like, that's me in the role. And I think that's what makes the great actors the greatest. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. So tell me a little bit about your story. Um, you haven't always lived in LA. How'd you get here? No. <laughs> I was actually just before this going through my Facebook feed to see like my history. Yeah. Yeah. Going through and looking at it. It is throwback Thursday. Yeah. I was just going through and looking at it. And, um, I, I've, lived in my car I've couch surfed I've done all kinds of things to just get by to make sure that I could stay here and live out my dream so it's actually getting close to my two year um, move out anniversary wow where are you from Texas I'm from a small town in Texas called Port Natchez nice uh, yeah How but to be here is just a huge blessing it's amazing. I'm sure it's completely different. It's totally different. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. It's so different. Was there like a culture shock when you got to LA? I think so. Have you been to LA before? I've been to California, but it was like, it was similar to Texas where I went. It's okay. this town called Temecula. It's out. Oh, I know um, exactly where that is. Yeah, that's out at. in the desert, I guess. It is. It's very small. Yeah. Um, and that's very similar to Texas. But coming to LA, it was, uh, it was much different much much different yeah yeah oh yeah LA is something of its own yeah it really <laughs> I mean is. even you know I'm from Northern California the Bay Area and just moving that's not a small I mean I've lived in a small town too Copperopolis hey 3,000 people hey, um, but you know San Jose has a lot of people and just moving from there to here is a huge difference yeah huge difference huge I mean, LA is kind of its own. It's world. its own world. It, it really is. is. Its own world. Yeah. I'm like, I could go to the supermarket in my pajamas, and no one's gonna even blink. Nobody's gonna judge you, no nope. way, because nope. everybody's done it before. Yep. Well, everyone is just so different and so unique. That That's what I love about LA. Yeah, it's very. Exciting. Is that uniqueness is celebrated? Mm -hmm. Everybody can be themselves. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're weird or if you're fashionable or if you just want to wear sports clothes and leggings all day yeah. it's all good and you know, or dance in the street yeah <laughs> or sing or on crazy. sing on the promenade yeah or bring your guitar out to the corner and just play for everybody and offer free hugs and smiles oh yeah that happens too yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know you never know what adventure LA is going to take you on yeah. when you walk out your door you're like who am I going to meet today yeah. For me, it's like, who am I going to run into today? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I run into everyone I know. Yeah. Um, but thank you so much for coming on my show again and telling us a little bit more about your story. Uh, before we wrap up, uh, please let everyone know where they can reach you. Okay. Um, I am on Instagram, at Brady underscore Martin. And I am on Twitter, at Brady Ross Martin. Um, and on Facebook, you can just find my page. Uh, it's just Brady Martin. Awesome. Yeah. Anything else you want to say before we head out? Uh, I love y'all. Keep keeping on. Your dreams can come true. That's awesome. Great advice. All you aspiring actors out there, we wish you the best and good luck. Don't forget to follow me on any and all social media outlets. You can find me at Everything Ia, and that's Everything E-Y-A. I just want to say a special thank you to Joe Rocks for giving me this opportunity um, to talk to you guys every Thursday night. You can catch me here every Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific on Good Night Hollywood. I'm your host, Ia, for all your fashion, music, and entertainment gossip. On Night Talk with Joe Rocks, exclusively on Armed Radio Global, the TuneIn Satellite Network. From everyone here in Hollywood, good night. Let me know. Wait, what's that? So welcome, everybody, back. Um, that was um, Ia um, with her guest, Jimmy, who uh, was um, Jimmy? Brady Martin. Brady Martin. Um, and um, that was um, Ia um, and Brady Martin, her special guest uh, this week.
Um, and thank you uh, for uh, joining us this week, Ia uh, and Brady Martin. We appreciate that. But um, before we sign out, uh, I have a very, very important announcement. Oh, yeah, that's right. A very I, extremely, I, I, extremely important announcement. I want everybody to get close to the speakers. I've been waiting. No, do, do you want to get close to your speaker? <laughs> do you want to get close to your speaker? <laughs> Cindy, you close to your speaker? <laughs> Cindy? Oh, God. Anyway. All right, don't worry about she Yeah, she, 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 she got too much, um, what do you call that? Whatever they yeah, shampoo. 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 I'm on the butthole. Yeah. Anyway. She got some shampoo I want to let you know that, you know, you know that next week is 4th of July. Hi, Letty. You right? Hi, Letty. Yeah, 4th of July. I don't know what that means, 4th of July, but it's the 4th of July, and we celebrate 4th of July, right? You don't know what it means, you said. Okay. So every... 823 years this happens to us and you guys are lucky that this happens because you're in this in this generation of us okay you know the generation of us that we're living all together. our generation uh, you know like we're all together in this yep. generation or whatever no matter how old you are no, you're old. no matter how old you are like if you're one year old or you're, yep. you're you're 90 years old you're still in this generation of us right only once every 823 years this happens. And you know what it is? You want to know what it is? Tina? Yeah, yeah, I want to know. Uh, hold on. Let me just let me just get I, let, I, me just, let me just get Cindy back in because she's I, annoying. I, uh, oh, it's just, Cindy's very annoying. Cindy? What happened? Okay. What happened? Okay, so I'm making a major announcement. Can you hold major. on for a minute? This is major. Uh, so I want I'll go through it because Cindy was not here. So every, um you know, Cindy as um she's you know, in our generation also. So we're all in our generation if you're one year old or you're 90 years old, okay? And this particular phenomenon only happens every 823 years. Do you realize that? 823 years. And you, you want to know what it is? Are you having sex? No. Do you want to know what it is? There is five weekends in July. Five weekends in July? I mean, really? Uh, I mean hold on. And, and Dina's laughing because she don't know. You feel, she's still I, counting I, on her fingers. How many is a five? D, D, she, she's Dina, she's on a six finger. Dina, okay. I hope he's going somewhere with this. No. Uh, well, okay. So what that means is there five. There is no other. Uh, for another eight hundred twenty-three years, there'll be no other July that has five weekends. No other. Yes, there is. And no, it'll be no, done no, within no, thirty no, years. No, it's what. Yes, it is, and it'd be done Wait, within thirty like years. Out there for a weekend or oh, my God! Well, there is no eight hundred and twenty-three years. What do you think? Let's go to Florida. You're an idiot. I read this on Google. Okay. Uh, yeah, you if can I'm read it idiot, all you want. I'm it's stupid. It makes no okay, sense. Yeah. An idiot. Okay. Yeah, you can. Okay. All right. Well, Jimmy's much more intelligent. Go than back me. in the calendars, Joe, and take well, a look at what? July. You you'll just find go to five Google. weekends. You gotta you'll go find to Google. Five weekends in a lot of months. No, you gotta go to Google. This is the year. This is the July is called the year of uh, the month of the money. Okay, if you don't make any money in July, you're never gonna make any money. Well, that that, that screws up people like Jimmy because. That's an extra week in the month. The check comes in. That's right. He's, that's why he's pissed off. So he says, I'm an idiot. He's pissed off because I'm an idiot, basically. He screws up your check. Yeah, well, you're anyway. right. Because you're spewing shit you know nothing about. Right. I don't. I, yeah. Okay, I don't. Anyway, yeah, well, that's what I was told. And, um, you know, I mean, uh, you can take it from Jimmy, uh, who, who knows all. Uh, or you can do your own research, go to Google, and find out what I just said. Anyway, is that your big announcement? Yeah, that was his big announcement. Uh, yeah, besides that, uh, was your big announcement. Yeah, besides Cindy um, getting uh, nailed down her ass. Okay, that's another big announcement I had for you. <laughs> what did that sound? That was horrible. Nail. Yeah, her, her ass caught on fire. And again, if you're interested in hugging with Cindy, it's one eight six six two two five five four zero one. You can call us twenty four hours and leave a message. Okay. Yeah, and Joe and I'll get back get the message yeah. to her. Well, we'll we'll send it. Yeah. Um, and I want to thank uh, Dina Catuli and also Cindy Hobbs for coming on tonight. We, I really thank you, Joey. Uh, uh, thank uh, you, I, 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 Okay, can uh, I say? You. Can I finish? Hold on. Can I finish no, up? We're cutting you off. No, don't, don't cut me up. I gotta. I gotta. You know. I gotta say goodbye to everybody. Right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let me do this again then. Hurry up! I gotta get in the shower. Oh Jesus! All right. Anyway, I'd like to thank uh, Dina Catulli and also Cindy Hobbs for you know for coming on tonight. I much appreciate it, as well as the coach. 
uh, and uh, uh, Matt Hazley, uh, who has a show on Fridays and Mondays uh, at 10 o'clock Eastern, Straight Talk with Matt Hazley, and Jimmy, who is a know-it-all, and if you want to know a, a more about him, uh, Jimmy, why don't you tell us, tell the audience how to get to your show, when is it, and the times, Jimmy. When is it Thursday night? Eight okay. o'clock. Okay, and that's what you get with you get Jimmy. I mean, he's with <laughs> pot talk with Jimmy. I mean, Paul. He, 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 what Jimmy just told you was what he just told you. It's Thursday night at eight o'clock. Well, because he's, you know, uh, I don't know. Joe likes it that way. No, I like hey, him that way. Hey, I, Joe, because I, I, I don't like, like him to harass the female um, um, audience. Uh, uh, no, audience. So they were uh, what. Oh, Bruce is where we go. Oh, okay. um, and um, we'll see. We'll catch you with um, Kimberly. Um, they produce nothing. They're guests. No, they're, hold on, Jimmy. You don't know what they do. Yeah, Only do. I do. Only I do. You're just somebody who watches. Yeah, takes right, care of You're in. right. Yeah, I okay? don't know anything. What do you produce? Hold on. Let's let's go through this. What do you produce? I produce your show. No, you, all you do is record it and send it out. Okay? That's, That's producing, all you do, Joe. Okay? I don't know what a you think of it you're as. You're an engineer. But you're not a producer. Okay? Look yes. it up. Go to Google. Google it. Okay? Yeah, you don't okay. Produce any content. And, and what are they going to tell you? They're guests of okay. producers? See what I mean? This is what you're I got to go through this, with this fucking idiot. Everybody's okay? anyway, a producer. Good night, everybody, and we'll see you next week. Good night. Yeah, we'll have a good Thank night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. All right, guys, take care. Nice to meet you. Good night. Uh, uh, take care.